Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Dietrich, and I'm coming to you from my house. Um, I thought during this homeschool learning time that I would read you a book, and you guys could have fun listening to it. Uh, this is one of my favorite books and one of my favorite authors, The Duckling Gets a Cookie. And it's uh, the words and the pictures are by Mo Willems. Um, I highly recommend getting his books. Um, he's just amazing and he has uh, such a, a funny way of making his stories to uh, uh, inspire kids to get excited for learning. Um, so you can get his books online or I saw a big box set at Costco that you could get. Um, and just encourage those readers. So uh, sit back, uh, get your water, drink some water from your water bottle, and um, get excited. And maybe at the end, uh, you guys can get some cookies too. All right, the duckling gets a cookie. There's a bunch of cookies. Here's the pigeon. He doesn't look happy. I do not like the look of that title. The duckling gets a cookie. Written and pictures by Mo Williams. Hello, scooty scoot scoot. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, dang! Slap, slap, slap. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. <laughs> you asked for it? Politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? Yes. So you got a cookie with nuts just by asking politely. I asked for things all the time. Let's see. I asked to drive the bus. I asked for a hot dog parties. Do I ask for candy? Yes, I do. I don't have to be a big, it doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. I'll ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Right now I'm asking why. Why, why, why? Getting all mad. <laughs> oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug. Hmm, I bet a lot of us want a hug right now, huh? But you can hug your family. You can get up and... Hug them all you want. Or uh, you could hug your teddy bear, right? Or your stuffed animal. You could just give it a big old hug. Or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. An iceberg's a big thing of ice in the ocean. You can't have an iceberg pink pigeon. I asked to stay up late. Oh, I remember that story. It's a good one if you haven't read it yet. Oh, yeah. I'm the askiest pigeon in town. Oh, look how sad he looks. But do I get what I asked for? Oh. No! Ducklings get everything. Oh, he's feeling pretty sad. <clears throat> Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? So I could give it to you. And another thing. What? You're giving me that cookie with the nuts. That is so nice. Thank you. 
Thank you very, very much. Mmm, chomp. That is one cool duckling. Chomp. Yes, sir. Bye. Oh, that's so nice that he gave that. I love when my, when Ian and Bailey and my son and daughter, when they give things to each other, it makes my heart so happy. May I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. The duckling doesn't like nuts in his cookie. I think that's why he gave it to the pigeon. Oh, so funny. Oh, and then here's a bunch of cookies with no nuts. And there's one that got eaten. To see the very first part, it had oh, cookies with nuts. Oops, cookies with nuts. And on the last page, no nuts. And, let's see, and then there's a bunch of other books that you could read with them. So there's just a couple things I want to go over. Mo Willems is the author. He wrote the words. So the author writes the words and he is also the illustrator can you say illustrator the illustrator draws the pictures and actually during this time he's been doing some uh lunchtime drawings so he made a bunch of videos of how to draw the different characters from his stories so you can go look those up maybe i'll um add them to the description of this video and that way you guys can click on it and go to his site um and then the other thing I want to talk about are the characters. So the characters in a story are the people or the animals or the creatures. Sometimes they're just, you know, made up. Um, and they are the ones that talk and, and tell you about what's going on in the story. So those are the characters in the story. And um, there's also in the beginning, the big, the big problem that the pigeon had was that he wanted a cookie. So a lot of times stories have a problem, but the solution was Duckling gave him the cookie and Duckling also had a problem. His problem was that he didn't want the cookie that had nuts. He wanted a cookie that didn't have nuts, so he gave it away to the pigeon, which actually made the pigeon really happy. So that was really good. Well, boys and girls, I've really enjoyed uh, this time being able to read to you and I look forward to reading some more books and posting them onto uh, my YouTube video. If you have requests for books that you want me to read, just let me know and um, I can put them on our video and be reading to you. I miss you all so very much and I can't wait for the day for us to get back together, Navigators, and I will talk to you all soon. All right, bye.